come in now, but either end. Yeah. I want to give this end, the end that's facing us. That sag in the... Oh, well, these are tight, no bull. Oh, so just, you'll move, that pole will probably come this way a little bit. Yeah, you want that, like, it'll be like that, it'll be... Oh, that's sweet. We can just take it home and wash it. I didn't realize it rolled up. Huh? No, I didn't realize the zipper went at U shape. I thought it just went to the corner, but it. Oh. Well, that's, I like that, don't you? Yeah. Set that over there so your generators are inside. We Coated rods on both sides. And I mean, out of the ones that I have, I got, I got a couple of the different designs, but I do really like this design. It's pretty, very, very. Yeah, I'm not packing. But, no, but like the thing about the O-ring cots is, you can actually uh, make bunks out of them. They just, like you stack them on top of each other. I've seen them. Blow, blow, blow in my valve and squeeze it off on my pad. Hey right, guys, how's it going? So we are out here this weekend with the old man. Uh, we are doing a weekend camping trip here at Rocky Knob. Uh, it's right off the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia. Um, we come here, we got here a little bit later in the day, um, set up a new tent, uh, brought out the uh, White Duck Outdoors Scout model. And I gotta say, you know, not spent the night in it yet, but it was super quick and easy to set up just myself while my dad unloaded the truck. Um, and tons of ventilation. Like I can already tell it's gonna make a perfect uh, spring, summer, and fall tent. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take and cook something here in a minute. I think we'll probably go with hot dogs this evening. Uh, just something a bit quick and easy and uh, finish getting uh, all of our accoutrements and stuff set up, make a pot of coffee. Uh, and then tomorrow I will give you guys a full camp tour and we'll talk a bit more about some of the uh, individual gear items that I brought out with me. Um, 
but this is the first time we've come to this campground and uh, it's very shaded uh, this weekend is uh, going to be the first weekend uh, that we've had in a while where the temp and the humidity has dropped a good bit so uh, that was one of the main inspirations for them to get out this weekend um, but yeah all in all great spot uh, good weather and uh, thanks for coming along Gonna say too much. No, but I think we'll keep kind of right here. Anyway. That's fine, yeah. We got a couple zip up bags. Got a trash bag yet? Yeah, it's over there on them. Go ahead and sprinkle some cheese on one of those. Oh yeah. It's a brand new bag of the black horse. Okay. Uh, got I think I've done something to make it like pull.
because titanium and doing eggs and on titanium is a little now, bit. Do you want the cheese to put in the eggs? Yeah, we'll need it. Okay. And probably I'll put a splash of once this once they get about done, put a splash of milk in them. Oh yeah. So, cheese. Bacon grease and stuff. Warmed up. Duration right, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna lay this on there, and then I'll get a couple pieces of toast. Okay. Yeah. Turn that cheese. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. But so, you don't see many canvas tents. We have an old, an old spring bar tent. Oh no, that's fine. I mean, uh... Ain't that tasty? You got some on you. Shake that off for it. Soaks in. Okay guys, so before we fix our final meal for the night, I'm uh, going to give you guys a quick look at our campsite. So this is campsite C16. Uh, this stump was already cut off. We've been using that for some wood prep. Uh, I've got some hard seasoned wood uh, that I split up just a few minutes ago that we'll be using for our steaks uh, here shortly. And that's what that wood is there. I've just got it drying out from any uh, moisture that might be on the interior of the wood. Here is the fire pit. We'll go wide angle view uh, the site has a picnic table uh, the main water jug that i have been using for this trip is the first time bringing it out and breaking it in is a swiss link uh, 20 liter or five gallon stainless steel water jug and this is just all the different types of accoutrements we've got laid out now for the tent itself uh, this is a white duck outdoor scout tent and this thing has been so nice to uh, set up and to sleep in so down here at the bottom, these skirts roll all the way up to the top to reveal um, mesh. So this thing has mesh 360 degrees around. And there goes a granddaddy long legs. Um, but you just have the three um, tie-out points along the fly. And that's what gives you your square body shape. The only two poles of this tent is the one in the front and then the one in the rear. Uh, but both sides of this tent open up completely the same. So you can point this any direction um, that you would like so in total you have eight uh, guy out points uh, you know one from the top down to each side and then uh, the three along each side uh, we opted to keep the back end closed and then this one closed um, because the way that the wind has been circulating uh, it coming up from the bottom there kind of circulate through the tent and a breeze coming in from the front all that worked out good so now here on the outside this is the first time using this as well 
This is an Alpi Cool refrigerator freezer combo. Uh, this thing is amazing. It's a real game changer for let me get the ant out of here. Um, for keeping food cold and stuff around camp without having to screw around with ice, as long as you have access to power. But this site in particular does not have any electrical hookups so i brought out um one of my power stations and then doing a little wide angle we'll talk about uh, my sleep setup and then what my dad's got going but for our power station this is the project solar uh, power bank 2000 so this has been running the refrigerator uh down to around freezing temps uh my dad's cpap machine we have had tons of lights, phones, uh, headphones, lanterns, everything uh, in this bad boy going charging um, and doing everything. And like right now, it looks like we're sitting and still been able to run the refrigerator for about 48 hours. Um, so all of that has just been really good. Uh, the first real haul pull of this Project Solar power bank. And for the portability factor, it's great. I brought the solar panels with it, but everything around this site is just surrounded uh, with trees. So the tree canopy isn't allowing enough sunlight uh, through to really make that worth doing. Okay, so now looking at my sleep setup, uh, this is a Tom Shoe a collapsible cot and I actually left one piece to the cot legs at my house whenever I was uh, packing this thing up so I'm, I'm only using three sets of the four sets of legs I've got two sets here um, at my upper body where my torso is and then just one set at the very end where my feet are but uh, the, the weight limit of this cot is between 300 and 330 pounds I believe um, and me weighing 150 that was no problem for this at all now on the inside i've got my bushman travel gear uh, this is their most insulated uh, inflatable pad i've used it a lot outdoors and it sleeps on the ground fine but throwing it on top of this cot you got yourself a 10 out of 10 for a bed then my sleeping bag that i chose for this this is the vertex um, outdoors arizona bag it's the one that has the uh, the zip in face net uh, or bug net so you can fully enclose yourself in this it's based off i think the corinthian uh, sleeping bags but they're a fraction of the price in the exact same materials so highly recommend checking that out and then just a full-size pillow from home and then just use this head area um, as my storage tonight it's going to be slightly warmer so i got this like unbranded um rechargeable fan that we'll probably have going and then going over to my dad's side of things, I gave him this five-star zip-up wooby that can be zipped up into a uh, rectangular sleeping bag, but he's just been using it as a blanket over top of the Snug Pack jungle bag. I don't think it's got Snug Pack jungle bag wrote on it anywhere. But just like that Vertex Arizona bag, it can be fully zipped up and you can um, have, uh, have it enclosed with bug netting around your face. But he's just been using both of these essentially as a blanket because the nice thing about the Snug Pack is it has a rectangular foot box that can fully unzip all the way around. Um, or you can just leave the foot box zipped up and then use the upper end as a blanket. And then a, a Camping Moon uh, collapsible table that has served to set all that stuff on. Okay, and so yeah, that is the that's the gist of things. The way that we got stuff um, situated around camp. Obviously, you've seen um, a bunch of different little appliances and, and little gear items and stuff used, um, and I can touch on that. You know, everything will always be linked down in the video description. If you have any questions about those little types of things, just hit me up in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them for you. And they'll for surely be shown um, up close in greater detail in other videos. This camp. Um, is meant to be more it's just a fun kind of casual relaxing camp but i still wanted to uh, make a video for you guys uh, but yeah that's a look at everything um, around camp and so the next thing we're going to be getting to is making some steaks so i will see you guys then Oh, 
What'd she get? Ribeye or New York strips or ribeye? Mmm. Dang, I'm good, man. I'm a wizard. Crackers. I could open some crackers with those. It, crackers is good with those. All right. All right. I might go through a bit of some in just a sec. All right, guys, so we just took and finished breakfast on our final day here. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, take and pack camp up. But uh, all in all, everything worked out great. This tent is just 10 out of 10 stars, uh, at least, you know, for this outing. One thing we've definitely got to do before we leave is go along and granddaddy long leg spiders uh, due to the temp drops have just come and collected along the inner flaps of uh this tent on the front and back uh but this thing kept bugs out the only time anything got in was uh something swooped in whenever we was uh, you know had the door open but then yeah coming to the interior there was plenty of space uh for the two of us with one extra large cot then a standard size cot um i was really surprised the power station down there that is the uh, the project solar 2000 power station run the cpap uh two nights uh while running this refrigerator here for the entire uh, three-day two-night trip that we uh, have been here so once again that's an alpi cool fridge if any of you guys are interested because uh, i know right now we're getting ready to go into peak <coughs> peak summer camping season for a lot of people um and then yeah we just got all of this mess right here to clean up and load the truck so that is going to do it for this one guys i will put a time lapse up of uh, packing everything but uh, once again this was at rocky knob campground it's right off the blue ridge parkway uh and uh, if you ever get a chance out you're out this way then i would recommend checking it out so uh as always guys thanks for watching please make sure to thumbs up button subscribe if you have not already uh make sure to share the channel your friends family anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities and gear as always, I will link to everything um, that I've used on this trip down in the video description, so check it out if for some reason um, you can't find something. That means it's either not on the internet or I forgot to put it there, so just ask me in the comment section. Um, and speaking of that, uh, make sure to hit me up in the comment section with thoughts, opinions, questions, uh, all the above, uh, whatever you feel like typing out. So with all that said, guys, until the next one, adios.